In a burgeoning self-propelled market, we're seeing more and more of these machines come into play. More at the lighter end. The self-propelled sprayer is uh, getting acceptance as a broad acre kind of machine, but more of these compact style machines are coming onto the market now. And this is the Hardy Presidio. This is a 2700 litre compact machine for a specific kind of crop. And to talk me through it, I'm gonna have another chat to Dave Soderstrom from Hardy. I've just been spinning around in this little machine. It's um, actually quite simple, obviously compact, but um, what are some of the features about it? Look, we've got a light footprint. Yep. So for those that are running in row cross situations or soil that's prone to pugging, yep. this machine's gonna get across it without bogging, it, bogging the ground up. We've got a full wheel drive system. So of course, plenty of power to get down onto the ground when we need it. It's a 190 horsepower Deutz engine in it, and it's hydrostatic drive. Hydrostatic drive, um, but what makes this machine probably a little bit unique in its drive system is we don't require full engine power to deliver power to the hydros. We actually have a transmission system, and we only dial in the amount of power that we need for a forward speed. Now, is this capable of maintaining sort of Australian-style fast spraying uh, speeds, like uh, over 20k an hour? Absolutely, it's got a three-speed uh, transmission in it. So you've got a low speed, a medium speed, and obviously a high to road speed. So yeah, you can get up to 30 kilometers an hour, not a problem. Okay, so who's gonna be buying this machine? Cotton growers? Yeah, cotton, raised bed farmers, high capacity veggie growers, all those sorts of guys will be the sort of people that we're looking to send this to market to. So do you think this machine operates in a, in a certain niche, or do you think this will be uh, taking over from some of the traditional sort of trailer buyers? It's gonna do both. Guys are still looking for efficiencies, and a smaller machine like this means that they can leave their big tractor at home and jump in the SP, get the job done and come home. The Presidio comes with uh, all the usual sort of hardy features that we kind of expect across yeah, the range? all the usual features that you'd see right through the hardy range, right down onto the trailers, um, steel or aluminium booms such as we've got here, standard issue controller right through the range now, so that's a guidance as well as a rate controller. I noticed inside there it has the HC 9500 spray control unit. Now that's standard on this machine? It is standard, yes, on this one, yep. Okay. What about things like auto terrain control and things like that? Look, we've got an auto height system available for, the, for our, our customers. Auto height's definitely in demand as, as it is at the moment. So the option is there should our customers want it. Okay. And it's still open to GPS steer, all the usual uh, functionality? Yeah. All the functionality that, that today's farmer's looking for. GPS, auto section control, that's all able to be packaged into this product. This looks like uh, nitrogen accumulators, so I'm tipping that this is a part of the uh, pitch and yaw function of the boom? Nitrogen accumulated anti-yaw devices in the back here, just to take out that whipping effect that can happen in some machines. It's got a run-dry pump on it, is that right? We've got a hydraulically driven centrifugal run-dry pump, which is pretty unique on the SP range, and it's standard on this machine and also our larger Saratol. So the market's becoming sport for choice when it comes to compact self-propelled sprayers and there's only going to be more product coming onto the market. It's very simple and uncluttered and it's an easy machine to operate. So I think it's one of those machines that probably will get great acceptance on the market. Read all about it in the next issue of New Farm Machinery magazine.